Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Snapcore with SRJ26. I am going in because I wanted to show you a little bit about what I've been up to. Uh, as you know, Minecon just happened and so there was no snapshot released. I don't know if there will be one this Thursday, I'd be surprised. Um, but I wanted to go in and show you a little bit of what I've been up to. Um, I have installed more uh, RAM. Um, so hopefully I'll have some better performance, but I don't know um, how well that will work out. But we're finding out right now because I'm running uh, three things at once, so we'll see. Uh, I'm probably going to have to tweak it a little bit and work on getting everything maximized and all that. Uh, but right now I'm running at um, oh, six frames per second. That's excellent. <laughs> let, me, let me see if I can do something about that. Uh, video fast fast. Yeah, I don't know if it'll... I'll probably have to monkey around a little bit. Uh, seven frames per second. Yeah, well, I, I will work on that. But what I wanted to show you does not require a lot of frames per second. Uh, we're going to go out onto the Enderman hunting walkway, and I want to show you a little something I've been doing. Um, this should put any question about my uh, ultimate moral standing in the world to, 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 to rest, because I've been rescuing villager zombies. As you may know, uh, zombies spawn at night, of course, and uh, I think one out of every ten is a villager zombie. So I've been in hardcore mode, because I'm a fool, going out into the world and trying to collect these guys and bring them back up in here and cure them. Curing zombies, um, curing villager zombies takes a splash potion of weakness and a golden apple and then they turn back into a zombie after a few minutes. I did actually have one that was sitting here uh, de-zombifying and I walked back to the house over there and by the time I came back it had despawned because it was actually still a zombie. <laughs> so uh, beware if you try this yourself because you don't want to leave them and think they'll still be there. Once they turn into villagers, then yeah, they'll be there. They'll stick around. Um, so this is the zombie villager mall. Um, I'm going to create a whole loop of guys up there, and then, I don't know, maybe I'll make a second level. I probably won't even bother. I, I doubt I'll fill up the whole level. But um, it's it's kind of hard, actually. I'll show you how I do it. Hopefully there's no one downstairs waiting for me. Um, I've got this overly complicated and somewhat unnecessary uh, system that um, doesn't work real well, but um, it works well enough because I've got a few already. Let me see if I can get down here. Get down here. Come on, come on. There you go. Okay. Um, so this is where they come in and they enter through uh, that opening there. I set it up so that I could bring them in from multiple sides, but I haven't really bothered. I've really only brought them in through here. And this opens up onto um, an area here that I've got fences on both sides for my own security. And mostly what happens is I bring them in, uh, I pick them up on the banks of the land over here, and I make them follow me because they want to eat my brains. And I drag them through the river here and then up into the building. And then I sneak up here where they can't follow me. And then I open one of the two gates using the pistons right there. Oh, that's not right. There you go. Come on. There we go. That opens up the ability for them to walk through there. And then I go back down and I lure them through. And it's a little convoluted, but the last thing in the world I want to do is turn around and have a, a creeper in here because that would be poor. And I actually take them up here. And it took a, took a little bit of work to get a get a pretty reliable method, but I walk them through here, and then I back up and I put a half slab right there, and then I come over here and put a half slab somewhere over here, and they get trapped. And then I cure them, and it's worked pretty well so far. And this solves my need to have a village nearby, because I can deal with doing any snapshot trading updates that change the way the, the game works. Uh, here rather than having to do it in the uh, in an actual village because the nearest village is hundreds of blocks away. Uh, I actually have one golden apple 
And I'm not sure I'm going to try to get a villager for you guys to see because, to be perfectly honest, it takes a lot of time. And um, well, and my machine is not. I gotta I gotta work on my 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 allocation of RAM. I think because I suspect I need to actually give myself some more oomph. Uh, it was running fine without the video capture, but now it's sort of bogging down for some reason. So I'll have to let's check our frames here. Yeah, seven FPS. I got. I got to figure that out. I got to take a little look. Um, and I, sp I generally just walk around up here and spot my villagers. And I've been using Optifine, even though I feel like you know I zoom in like that using the Optifine mod. I feel like it's a little cheaty, but this is more oriented around snapshots. It's not. I got nothing to prove here, so you know it's okay. I don't mind. Um, and then once I find one, I try to bring it over here. It's dangerous, but it works. And that's it. So I wanted to show you the uh, the zombie villager mall in my Snapcore world. And uh, the funniest thing, though, to be perfectly honest, uh, let me try to get back up here. Wow, terrible frames. Yeah, I gotta work on that. Um, the ter the worst thing is that they are ungrateful little bastards. Take a look at this. He wants 10 emeralds for a clock. I've got like 10 clocks in my house. No, maybe 5 clocks in my house. But he wants 10 emeralds for one. This one I actually have been trading paper with and, and have gotten a few emeralds from him. Um, but yeah, you'd think that they would give me a deal, you know? You'd think like, oh, you saved me from being a zombie. Oh, I will give you something wonderful. But no, no, same old stuff as usual. Um, so yeah, a little disappointing, but come on, Mojang, get on that. Give us some, uh, give us some appreciation from our, our saved villager zombies, please. Uh, so that's uh, that's what I wanted to show you. That's what I've been up to. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully we will have a snapshot soon that I can show you off all the good stuff and maybe even have my FPS fixed by then. But either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.